If you want to add an image inside of your blog post, but don't want it to be visible on your blog post, then this video is for you. I have an example blog post here on my website. You can see at the top there is one image and you can scroll through and you can see there are different images and a video. Okay. But when I go to pin this particular blog post on Pinterest, you actually see that there is a another pin image right here. This is the older version of the pin and I've recently added a new one, but I wanted to keep the old one because some people like and share this particular image. So I wanted to keep it, but I didn't want it to be visible since it's um, part of my older brand. Um, I didn't want it to be visible on my blog. So I added the new image and I hid the old one. Now that's what I'm going to walk you through how to do today. So on your WordPress blog, when you've added a new blog post and you come into the visual text editor, you can actually add your photo like you would normally. So I'm going to go ahead and add uh, these two Pinterest pins right here. I'm going to add both of them. And you'll see that they'll insert one on top of the other. So when I scroll down, you can see there are two different images in here. And when you go to the text version, here is the full HTML. Now right here is where the two are separate. Here's one image and here's the second image. Now in order to hide the one that I don't want, I need to add HTML in front of that code and in behind that code. And the way I do that is I save a Google Doc in my Google Doc file with the code so I can easily access it, copy and paste. So I'm going to place a link below this video to that Google Doc. You can grab this code for free. But here is the Google Talk Doc and um, here's the image code that you would normally have. This is just a placeholder. So what you need to do is you need to copy the code in front and go ahead and paste it in front of your image code that you just added and go back and add, let's see, you want to highlight and copy the code after and paste it after that code. So now what you're saying is to display none of this image and I'm going to go back to my visual editor and you'll actually see that there's only one image shown. So now the, if I go back to the text editor, now the image code that's shown after the first image where I added the code, now only that image is shown on the actual blog post. So that's how you do it. If I wanted to hide both images, I just take that code that I added at the end and I move it to behind all of the image uh, code. Okay, so now it's no longer there. So I'm gonna save this as a draft and I'm gonna show you what this blog post looks like with everything hidden and still be able to share images to Pinterest. So you can use this uh, for hidden images or hidden text or hidden anything that you want to hide. So I'm going to open this blog post and you'll see that it's completely empty. There's nothing in here. Um, right now this is just my little uh, widgets that are populating on the blog post, but there's actually no blog post content. So I'm going to hit pin and you're going to see that the images that I've hidden are showing up even though they're not anywhere to be seen on this page. So go ahead and grab a copy of this Google Doc and follow the instructions that I've shown you to copy and paste this code and hide your images.